Hello! Welcome to another episode of Benlab Tutorial. Today, we are going to remake the song New Jeans by New Jeans. The reason why I chose this song is because it's not as complex as the most K-pop remakes I made. With that, it'll be easier to explain the tutorial. First, you have to download the audio version of the song. Don't download the MV because it's a prolonged version and Benlab Automated Tempo Finder will have a hard time determining the BPM accurately. Once you're done, we will now split the instrumental with a splitter. This will separate the vocals, drums, bass, and other instruments of the song. Now press this icon to continue editing in the studio. Now we will start with the melody of the song. So we will have to mute the rest and listen closely to the original melody. You can listen to it repeatedly to figure out the instruments and chords used in a song. Now choose any virtual instruments that we will use temporarily. Once you have it, we will now continue and placing the notes. And there we have it. All you gotta do is to copy where I put the notes. As you can see, we put our first note to C4, followed by A, G, and E. That will be the first chord of the song. Now we will move on to the second one. We will start with B, A, F sharp, and D sharp. Also, pay attention to where I exactly put the notes. Use the numbers above as your indicator. Now let's go to the third chord of the song, starting by G, E, D, and B. Now the last one, A, G, E, and C sharp. Now that we're done, we will just increase the length of each note. And there we have it. As you can see, it's on a loop. And to make a loop, we will just press this button. And here, it's on 16 loops. And we can turn it back to 0, 4, or 8. I'm only using loops when the melody is used repeatedly throughout the whole song, or for a long period. And please keep in mind that we cannot completely copy how the original instrument sounds because we are only using BandLab virtual instruments and we're doing it on our phone. And there we have it. We will now move on to the second instrument. Did you hear that? That. That will be the next one. And also the melody is similar to this. Now just like what we did earlier, we can use a temporary instrument but we can go directly to an instrument that sounds similar to the original. And there we have it, as you can see we started at number 9 and just copy where I put the notes, starting from C4, E, and G. Then we'll go to B, D sharp, and F sharp. And here we got 5 consecutive B notes and we will go with D and F, F, B, and E. And that's it. Then we will just have to put it in a loop. Increase the loop, and there we have it. And now it's time for the third instrument. Listen to the sound of the snare. And now we will add a sampler. Press this pencil icon and go to browse. Then press one shot. Here you can find drum samples and other instruments that you can use in your project. For now, we will be adding to the snares. Then pick a snare that you think sounds similar to the original. Or you can just pick whatever snare you want for your creativity. For example, this one. We will just have to tap it. And there you go. Also, you can adjust the pitch if you want. The next one that we will search for is the hi-hats. For example, this one. And next, the kick drums. By the way, if you cannot find these samples that I'm using, you can just search their names. Now that we're done, it's time to put the blocks. We will go first with the snare, place the blocks where the original snare begin to hit. And just repeat the process. Same goes with the kick drums and hi-hats. By the way, we will put another sample which is the open hi-hats. 
and let's continue placing the blocks. It's gonna be challenging, so it will require a lot of patience. And here's the result. As you can see, we're still not using the kick drums and in the original, we can hear the clock ticking sound, so we will try to find it. We'll just have to search for clocks and there you go. Once you're done, we will just have to mute the original drums and check the result. And now let's mix it with the melody. And the next thing that we will do is to copy this drum pattern that we made and paste it here. The reason why we don't use loops instead is because we will be putting kick drums on this copy. And also we will be removing the clock sounds. Once you're done, we will just have to mute the original drums. By the way, you can also minimize the volume if it's sounding too loud. And here we will just gonna make a copy of this. And now we will move on to the fourth instrument, which is the bass. Go to the synth bass section and look for the square sub bass. And then we're gonna place the blocks. So here we start at number 9 and the first note that we have is the C1 and then B and then E and A. And also notice the gap of each blocks. And we're just gonna trim the layer, then make a loop. And just like that, we're done. We will now go to the last instrument, which is the Studio Grand. It's in the keyboard section. And after that, we will just copy what we got in the second instrument. And then paste it here. Then press these three dots and transpose it to around 12 semitones. Now let's check the result. And to the exciting part, adding the effects. So we will choose an existing preset here by Ben Lab, and it's called the Bright Room. And since this piano is from the chorus, we will just gonna move it to around number 21. And then here, I guess we're going to make an effect for this because I think it's too heavy and low frequency. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to have an EQ3M and we're just gonna lower the low frequency. Then you're just gonna copy what I'm doing here. We're gonna make a lot of loops and changes. In this part of the base, we are going to extend the length of the blocks until they are connected to each other. Just like that. So 
So as you can see, the bass and the verse has gaps with each other, while the chorus they are connected. As you can hear, the beat on the chorus is not like this, so we will change it. So starting at the chorus, at number 21, we are going to change the kick drums. And as always, just follow the beat of the original. The snare placement is also incorrect, so we will change it. Again, follow the original drum pattern. And once you're done, check the result. And that's it, we are all done. So the next thing you can do is to either clear the unnecessary things or you can make a full version of it. Just follow the original instrument. The reason why I don't teach you the exact thing is because I want you to experiment with it so that you can learn by yourself. And yes, you can make your own version of the song like a remix or you can change the instruments that I used. So yeah, it's up to your creativity now and good luck.